Carl Edwards. Oh, hard big contact. hit. That was Bill Lester, I believe, in the 22. Bill Lester hits hard. Travis Quapple goes down pit road. David Rudiman and Chad Chaffin also involved. Bill Lester's co truck comes to a stop just in front of the grandstands. David Rudiman David. made contact with the inside wall. There was nobody standing on pit road. I looked up, saw it. David Rudiman hit the inside pit wall. There was nobody standing there, as I don't think we'll have no injuries from the pit crewman. Look See? at this, uh, the 22 truck right there. Gets loose on the inside, Phil. Slide sideways and makes contact with Rudiman, sending him nowhere but to the outside wall. Yeah, Chad, as Rick mentioned, the safety paraphernalia, the head and neck restraints these drivers have. There's another view of it. Watch, he pulls up on the inside, gets loose on the bottom the racetrack. We've seen it happen so many times. He, he takes the front end of David Rudiman's truck. They both make hard contact with the safer walls. That's what's critical is, is that all these racetracks now are installing safer barriers. They, that's where they hit. That would help. All the head and neck restraint systems help. The headrests in the trucks help. I tell you, I, I would have hated to see what would have happened five years ago with impacts like these drivers take. Watch this real time there. See him watch him turn dead right, 45 degree angle, and, and made hard contact with the outside and, and wall. And that is, no kidding, that's contacted probably 140 miles an hour into a concrete wall. I was just going to say, Chad, it, you can't get a true feeling of how fast these vehicles are going around this track until you see something like this happen. This happens so fast. We had seen it before. Bill Lester got loose, went right up into David Ruderman, and there was nothing either driver could do. I'll tell you, a number of these drivers, Shane Meal, the 15, the 18, as you saw, sliding through the infield grass, made ter did terrific jobs not to hit him. You see David make contact with the inside wall. He had no control over his truck, no brakes, no steering. There's Travis. Watch these trucks come off that wall. Travis goes down pit road to avoid the accident. Great job by a lot of these drivers not making the situation worse. David Rudiman was taken out of his truck. He was conscious and was put into the ambulance. They're taking him now to the infield care center. Again, J.R. Patton was able to get out of his truck and went to the ambulance under his own power, as did Bill Lester in the number 22 Toyota. And this is a testament to the safety equipment now on these vehicles.